guys, welcome to another Photography Tip Tuesday where I give you a photography tip every Tuesday to help you improve your photography. So today I wanted to introduce you guys to my friend, my very, very best friend, Kelvin. Kelvin? Who's Kelvin? Well, I'm glad you asked. Kelvin actually isn't a person. Kelvin is actually a unit of measurement that is used to measure the color of light. And we refer to all these colors and tones as our white balance. So if you've been in the photography world for a while and you've been doing your reading and watching YouTube videos, you probably already know what your white balance is and what it affects. So pretty much all cameras have like these preset white balance thingies. I don't know what you call them. So most cameras have these uh, preset white balances that you can select according to your shooting situation. And those can come, you know, in handy a lot of the time. So for example, if you're in shade, you can set your, your camera's white balance to shade. If you're shooting in open daylight, you can set it to daylight. If you're shooting indoors, you can set it to the indoor lighting setting, whatever it's called, tongue skin or something, I don't even know. However, those don't always get the job done. Sometimes the color tone can be a little off and you know, I mean like you can't set one white balance for every single shaded situation or every single, you know, sunny situation. It's always going to vary in color and in tone. So that's where Kelvin comes in handy. So how exactly does Kelvin work? I'm glad you asked. So Kelvin uses numerical values to measure the color of light. And these values range from, from what I know, I think about like 2,000 to about a little over 9,000 degrees, Kelvin degrees. So before you set your Kelvin, you need to identify the color of your light source. So when I say color, I mean you need to identify whether your light source is warm or whether it's cold. So warmer light sources tend to have like a yellowish or orangish cast, while cooler light sources tend to have more of a bluish tone. So, for an example, if you are outside on a sunny day, that light source is considered to be warm. If you're in shade, that light source is considered to be warm. But if you're outside on a cloudy day, that light source is considered to be cool. So after you've identified whether your light source is warm or cool, you need to set your Kelvin accordingly. So here's the rule for that. The warmer your light source, the smaller you want your Kelvin number to be. So like a Kelvin of 2000 is going to be perfect for warm light sources. And then vice versa, the cooler your light source, the bigger your Kelvin number needs to be. So about 9000, that's a little dramatic, but you guys get the idea. So I wanna give you guys a little bit of a visual so that you can really start to comprehend this. Okay guys, so here's a little example. Uh, right now the light that's entering into my room is window light and it's a cloudy day so the light that's coming in is pretty cool in color. So right now my Kelvin number is at 4760 which gives me a very even nice white balance, a very nice tone. So I'm going to show you guys what happens when I lower my Kelvin number. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to start lowering it. So right there, it's at 4,000. I'm gonna go down some more. Okay, so right now my Kelvin at, is at 3,030. And as you can see, that gives it a very, very blue tone. So here's why. So like I said, the light that's entering my room is very cool light. So me adding additional coolness with a low Kelvin number is only going to make matters worse. It's not going to even out the color tone or anything like that. So to combat this problem, I need to even out my white balance by adding warmth to my cool image rather than adding additional coolness. So I'm going to go on and up this. which is about where we started. Like I said, adding warmth to a scene that is already cool in color is only going to balance things out. But you don't want to get too dramatic because if you're going to get something like this. So I'm upping my Kelvin number. And that's a Kelvin of... 
let me see, 9,090. So you can't add too much warmth or of course it's going to be overly dramatic. So, I mean, it's all about balance. That's why it's called your white balance. So I'm gonna go on and lower my Kelvin number again and right there, 4,350 Kelvin is good for this scene. So yeah guys, that's all that I have for today. And let me know, what techniques do you use in your photography to set your white balance? And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for my future tutorials. And I will see you guys next Tuesday. Bye. <laughs>